Hey Filmmaker, Sean here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this call out tracking effect inside of Premiere Pro. First, we're going to grab the text tool and we're going to type what we want it to be. So I am in the shot, so I'm going to write my name, Sean Da. And now we're going to grab this pen tool to make the line and we're going to just draw it under it. So we're going to put a point close to the end of the A and we're going to just press the second area because there is no simple or quick way to make a straight line because there is not. I'm just going to hold down shift and you can see it will not make a straight line. So that is something that is a little bit annoying about the pen tool inside of Premiere Pro and we can only like move it until it looks like that is straight. It doesn't really snap into it straight, but if it looks like it's straight, it should be enough. And now we're going to click on my arm here where there is a road logo on it, a road emblem. So there's like a little bit of white where it shows. One thing with the using the pen tool and the path to show the vector points, you have to press the shape, uh, yeah, the shape effect inside of the FX control. And also one thing with the pen tool is if you press the selective tool, it becomes like a whole thing to select and you can't access the vector points. To access the vector points, you have to use the pen tool to move that. Let's actually animate this. So we're going to the path here and we're going to hold or press the toggle animation and we have our first keyframe. Now we hold down shift and press arrow to the right to jump five frames forward. And we're going to select the shape so we can hold, get hold of this vector and move it. And pretty much we're going to repeat it, this process by holding down shift and pressing the arrow key the whole time and then moving this vector point. So it's not that hard to do and once you know this trick, it's actually quite fast to do. So you can see it, I'm doing it in real time and it's actually not taking that much time. And we're actually already pretty far with it right now. and. Let's make that the last one and hit shift again and then shorten this. And we can now put this to fit to screen and see the effect. So we can actually look at maybe if there's some point that it jumps too much, but it looks pretty okay. So that was mainly it, how to achieve the call out tracking effect inside of Premiere Pro. Hope you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on our Facebook group. There's a link in the description and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.